being successful, you don't go straight up. And there's going to be obstacles along the way. Recognize those obstacles and make those changes. And just don't fall back on something because it's easier. You always have to be proactive and not shy away from problems. You got to face them head on. Failure is not an option. I got a job at Bear Stearns to kind of come up with new ideas for companies. I was working on the idea of creating a company in affordable housing. It was approved, and then someone asked, well, who's going to you know, look at it from Bear Stearns' standpoint? And the person, well, Steve should, because he's the one who put the whole thing together. And that person said, well, I don't have any confidence in Steve. And well, uh, let's put it this way. <laughs> he like f- himself, but anyway. <laughs> So I was really, you know, I caused my own firing. And uh, it's probably the best thing that ever happened to me. I wanted to stay in New York. I didn't want to go back to Detroit. I had no money. I didn't think anybody would be interested in hiring me. So I kind of looked at myself and I said, hey, what are my skills? Where are the opportunities? And what do I really care about? And I kind of wrote up a business plan and I tried to initiate that plan. I borrowed money from my mother to live so I could stay here. It was challenging. I mean, you're living in New York and you don't have any other capital at all. I mean, you need money to live on. So it was like uh, I either had to make it. I mean, you know, failure was not an option. I went from making uh, 25,000 when I was fired at Bear Stearns way back when, and the first year I made $150,000. The more I did it, the more my passion grew, and I've really immersed myself in it. You know, when you love what you're doing, you're not working a day in your life, and that's how I feel. When the opportunity to develop Hudson Yards and the vision that I had for it, and we had a tenant, and the day before the bid was due, The tenant called and said they didn't like the environment at the time. It was 2007. We lost, and then the other party who was selected dropped out in 2008, and the city called us if we'd be interested in doing it. When it came back, you know, I was as thirsty and hungry to do it as I ever was. Fortunately, it's worked out. What really excites me is creating a live, work, play environment over a large piece of land in the middle of New York. You know, what could be, you know, greater? I want to be the best in class, whatever I do. I want to do business the right way, and I really think creating that type of culture is so important within a company, and having people work together, not looking at them as employees, but looking at them as partners, and working alongside them. And I think that's been my approach to growing a company, and it's not all just about the money. You want to do something worthwhile, and uh, I think that's why I love real estate so much. You can see the, the fruits of your work and the impact that it has. I never thought I'd be where I am today. I kind of pinch myself. But I don't sit back because I'm always looking forward. It's not the accomplishments you know, that I've had. It's that that I will have. I don't think I'll ever sit back and say, hey, I've had enough you know, and retire.